Hi guys, how is it going and welcome back to another match day vlog. It feels like ages since I have said those words. Of course, no football on Saturday for obvious reasons. I respect that, but it was a very boring weekend without football. We face Cambridge at home today. Tuesday nights under the lights are back. You love to see it. We love a Tuesday night game in the league. Of course, Cambridge, very, very solid. They sit fifth in League One. They've started the season very, very well. Very, very solid start for them. And they've got some fantastic players. Sam Smith, Joe Ironside, Harvey Nibbs, Adam May, Mitov in goal. And that's just to name a few of their fantastic squad. Of course, Mark Bonner at the helm for them. Very similar manager to how Michael Duff was for us. And obviously now we've got Wade Elliott in charge. It's going to be a different story today. We'll have to see how it plays out. But obviously we need to use the Port Vale result as a turning point. Hopefully we bounce back. Obviously we played very poorly. Very few positives to take. Let's hope we use that as a turning point and we perform much better today. But if I'm going to give a score prediction, I'm going to say 1-0 to Cambridge because they are still by far the better side by an absolute country mile so far this season. Better squad, better management. Everything's going to stay in their favour, but there is always a chance. And to be honest, there is a part of me that is a bit positive going into today. Ryan Jackson back from injury. So come back into contention. You can't really go wrong with those two. So fingers crossed they get played. Fingers crossed we play well, get the tactics right. But yeah, your score predictions will be on the screen now, as always. Thank you for all the support and interactions of late. It truly means the world. And if you do go on to enjoy today's video, please do smash like and subscribe. That would be massively appreciated. Thank you for all the support, like I say. You're all absolute legends. But yeah, without further ado, let's get down to the ground. Alright then, so the lineups are now out. Bit of an interesting one. George Lloyd gets the start over May. We were saying in the preview yesterday that maybe if May carries on his performances, he should keep starting, but we need to have the nerve. We need to have the nerve to sub him off. Him. Yes. He hasn't even started today. Interesting, bold move. I'm willing to give Lloyd a chance, but other than that, a very, very good lineup. Pretty much exactly what I'd want, obviously. Long on his day, if he turns up, is a good player. That's the only downside that he's starting. I would have maybe started ragging over him, but Southwood solid. Will Ferry finally getting the start he deserves. And I, I was ranting about this so much on the preview yesterday, but thank goodness that he is starting. He deserves it more than anyone else in the team does. And Lundalu starts, um, Freeston starts, Taylor starts, Perry. And, of course, Ryan Broom gets the start. Tuesday nights under the lights are Ryan Broom's nights. He turns into a different beast on Tuesday nights. So, hopefully, at his debut back at Wadden Road, he can do the job tonight. I have no doubt he's a fantastic player. We'll have to wait and see how he does. But, yeah, solid lineup. A few exceptions, but, yeah, pretty solid. Happy days. Fingers crossed the lights can get a result. But, yeah, without further ado, let's go to kick off. Um, Sam Smith has basically tried to pressure Will Ferry. He's shielding the ball out of play. The ball is pretty much out. There's no chance of Sam Smith getting to it. And he just blatantly shoves him into the into the advertising order. And on a slippery night like this, 
he went head first into it. I don't know if it, he actually hit his head, but it looked really bad. And to be perfectly honest, you know, for a player who was so admired here by Chelsea fans and who we actually wanted back at the end of his loan spell, very, very disappointing to see because he was never getting to the ball. It was just a show of anger, evidently. And, yeah, very poor. But let's hope this injury for Ferry isn't serious because he's got serious talent. And if he's injured five minutes in, it's not looking good. Well in, well in, brilliant defending free Time Champs on nil, Cambridge won. Um, deserved, they look a lot more promising on the attack. But to be honest, we don't look that bad. We just it's silly stuff. We don't take our chances when we do have the attacks. We're not clinical enough with them. We don't show enough quality. We don't show enough pace. Not enough movement off the ball, which seems to be a recurring issue. And it is especially bad today. You know, Freeson's got the ball at the back. People are telling him to do things. There's no one moving. He's got no option but to try and move it down the line and hope for the best. And to be fair to him, he's hitting a player every time. But no one's moving. No one's getting into pockets of space. It's worrying. Um, probably should have scored with. I, I don't even. I still don't know if it was a save or a block on the line, but they stopped it one way or another. Whether it was meet of or a defender, they managed to stop it on the line, which credit to them because that should have been in. Um, but yeah, not ideal. But there's potential, and we keep our fingers crossed. But again, Wade Elliott has got some talking to do. Fingers crossed, he can turn it around. But yeah, let's go to the second half. Right, it's half time and we're with a viewer of the channel and a champ fan, Ollie. Ollie, what's your final score prediction, mate? 2 1. Who's scoring? May and May. May Brace, happy days. <laughs>
Royce. Right then, that is it for today's matchday vlog. Thank you all very much for watching. Apologies, the voice is absolutely knackered. And as you can tell, the streets are very quiet. It's late and I'm, I'm very tired, so I need to edit this and get to bed. But when it's out, I do hope you enjoy the vlog because it's a bit of a cracker, I've got to say. Um, yeah, what a second half. Honestly, Wade Elliott, not faith is restored yet. Not, I'm not getting ahead of myself, but... That was what we want to see. That is what he can do. That is what we need to see now every week. Because the first half, we had glimpses of positivity. But over the grand scheme of the first 45, wasn't good enough to, you know, get us on level terms, get us into the game. However, second half, absolutely all over them. From minute one to the end of the second half, what a performance. Credit to Dan and Lundalo, Ryan Jackson... Um, Ryan Broom, Alfie May when he came on, all of them, Circum, absolutely unreal. Yeah, apologies for the lighting, it's crap, I know. 
But that's all I've got to say. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, if you did enjoy, please do smash subscribe. It would be massively appreciated. I am now simply a silhouette. But yeah, have a fantastic rest of your day. All the best, lads. And I will see you. We have a like. I will see you for Accrington away on Saturday.